I think one of the big things that you find in, in, uh, in our changes that we find in the standard is, is that there's not really uh, one thing or just a couple of symbols. We can show you a couple of symbols here and that's what the changes are. It's, it's uh, the technology or the changes and the improvements and the clarifications are just woven through the fabric of the document. So it's not one place they can say, here's a change and here's a new symbol and this is what it means. It's for example, let's take a look at this one. You notice here that uh, uh, on this one, we identify this surface here off as datum feature A, you know, as obviously the way that it mounts, datum feature A, datum feature B would be the pilot, and then what stops the rotation here, it looks like this one here is datum feature C. In the past 1994 standard, they really didn't show the relationship to datums, qualifying datum features. So what they're doing now is in the standard, they're actually uh, telling you that you should, it's a good idea to start qualifying datum features, putting a flatness on datum feature A, and then when you put in B, you make sure you relate it back to A with a perpendicularity, and then when you put in your next one, C, you want to make sure you relate it back to A and B. So they never really did that in the past standards, and now in the 2009 standard, they're saying it's a good idea to start qualifying these datum features. Yeah. Not really a new concept. A lot of people have been doing that for, for years now, but now the standard is kind of catching up with industry and, and really putting it down in the book, saying that should, that's a really a good idea. Yeah, so it's again, it's a bit changes and enhancements. Is that new? You'd say, well, that's not new. We do that now, but it really didn't say that in the standard. And it's really saying that uh, and if you want to do any tolerance stack ups or you want to do any calculations, you have to have that. In order to do, uh, use any of the tolerancing software, uh, stack up software, you have to have a relationship between those datums. Otherwise, we can't figure that thing out. So that's uh, something that you'll see in the as we're going through the material. And if you take a look through the datum section, you'll find a lot of that in, in, in the datum section. You'll find them all related, completely drawn up now with uh, all of the features qualified and fully tolerant, rather than just before, just a datum symbol hanging off and didn't really, couldn't really put it all together.